Hello everyone, this is Prem Sodani coming up with the next uh, round of our bus 5 minute series and in this session we are going to discuss about the uh, very important study of National Oceanic Services of USA and according to this study how oceans are working as oxygen bank we are going to discuss in this video right. So let me start with the discussion that is uh, according to this study uh, what is our planet's demand of our oxygen is being met that is up to 50 to 80 percent of this oxygen is uh, demand is being met by these oceans and how these oceans are producing that much of the oxygen you can see here the planktons the drifting planet uh, plants algae and some other bacteria which actually can do the process of photosynthesis are responsible for this uh, uh, oxygen production right so this is the report now the question here is according to this study this much of the production is there but how this is being calculated this is calculated generally what amount of oxygen is being produced that we will see and along with that we will also discuss that how these studies are important especially to locate dead zones and what are the dead, dead zones and the concept of hypoxia we are going to discuss in the, that session only. So before discussing that thing, uh, let me introduce one this organism that is Prochlorococcus. That is the smallest organism that can do the photosynthetic activity. And although it is smallest organism, but it produces 20% of the oxygen demand of our planet. It means this production is higher than evergreen tropical forest or rainforest of the what rainforest actually produces is lesser compared to this one. So this is Prochlorococcus you have to remember this is the smallest organism but it produces 20% of the oxygen demand of our planet right. So this is how it looks like right. Now we come to the next question that is how this oxygen is uh, you know how this production of oxygen is uh, calculated. So to calculate this one we need the help of satellites and by these satellites we actually measure the you know green patches over the uh, ocean or the climatic conditions which are existing over there. So this is how this satellite can measure what amount of uh, oxygen is being produced by these oceans but it is not that easy because satellites can measure this thing but this photosynthetic activity also have many other factors which actually decide how much of the photosynthesis activity can take place for example whether it is daytime or night time this will decide the amount of uh, no the rate of photosynthesis the second is climatic factors means climatic factors also have you know uh, if there is a cloud cover over the oceanic body that will also slow down the photosynthetic rate then I can say the tide conditions for example it is generally seen that when it is the tides time the synthetic uh, photosynthetic activity gets faster right so these are the factors which actually impacts the rate of photosynthesis so it is not an easy task for the satellites also to calculate this amount but it is still calculated that is 50 to 80 percent of the oxygen is being produced so we can take this term 50 percent at least we can say they this this amount of 50 percent is being generated by these oceans minimum range at least we can take right so this is how we have calculated the oxygen uh, production of these oceans now if we'll see the consumption pattern also so 50 percent of the planet's demand is being met by these oceans but they also consume 50 percent of the oxygen so let me introduce here what is the consumption pattern and the production of this oxygen process is there in the oceanic bodies so if you know about this one this is sunlight this is oceanic body or the water body here some of the organisms would be there so that they will do the photosynthetic activity this is photosynthesis photosynthetic activity and by this photosynthetic activity they actually produce oxygen this is the production of oxygen then there is respiration process which consumes oxygen so this will consume the oxygen and there is further one other mechanism that is decaying of decaying of organic material so this also requires oxygen and this will also consume the oxygen. So this is the production of oxygen method. This is these two are related to the consumption. So when it comes to the 
hypoxia conditions or when it comes to the dead zones what are this you know hypoxia condition what is hypoxia condition when the oxygen is you know decreasing at a very faster rate in the water bodies that actually results into the hypoxia situation means lack of oxygen supply and what is dead zone means when this oxygen becomes you know alarming alarmingly at low levels means oxygen is almost absent then these conditions will be known as dead zone so how these hypoxia and dead zone conditions are developed that is you know if you have heard this about this one that is eutrophication term eutrophication or the term algal bloom so what these terms are so in these uh, you know eutrophication what happens the fertilizers which are fertilizers which are nitrogenous or the phosphorus fertilizers they are released in the water bodies or the oceanic bodies and because of these fertilizers some of the algae got you know the production of these algae becomes very higher means the growth rate becomes very higher and because of that these algae will be accumulated over the oceanic water body over the surface and this will block the sunlight penetration into the water body and because of that sunlight blockage this photosynthetic action will be impacted and this oxygen production will be decreased right this will be decreased and now they, here the condition of hypoxia will start hypoxia conditions mean the lack of oxygen uh, things will will be started so that is hypoxia condition and because of that hypoxia condition because of that lack of sunlight penetration some of the organisms will start dying and they will termed as a organic material and this organic material will be decomposed with the help of the bacteria and for that decomposition process these bacteria need oxygen also and that oxygen which is required for the decomposition to these bacteria is known as biological demand of oxygen means at one hand you can understand this oxygen supply is decreasing because of lack of this sunlight and lack of this photosynthetic activity at the same time because of this dead organic material biological demand of oxygen is increasing means this oxygen supply will be reduced at a very faster rate because this respiration will always be there so respiration is also consuming the oxygen bod process is also consuming the pro, uh, oxygen but the supply of oxygen is being impacted because of this lack of uh, photosynthetic activity and this will finally results into the dead zonic conditions dead zone conditions means the oxygen will be absent now after some time so this is how the situation of hypoxia and then finally the situation of dead zone occurs and why we are tracking these photosynthetic activities over oceanic bodies or over water bodies with the help of satellites in order to know these zones that is hypoxia and dead zones so that we can avoid our activities into these zones we can actually disseminate the information that these zones are uh, hypoxia zones or the dead zones so that is all about this you know session that means if I'll show you, show you the pictures, if, if you uh, want to see this one. So this is the uh, this is the condition of algal bloom. You can see here. This is the thick green layer which have been uh, that has been deposited over the oceanic water body. And this is what I was talking about. This is the algal bloom conditions. And here you can see the accumulation. And this will block the sunlight penetration into the oceanic water body. And that will finally result into the algal bloom or the dead zone conditions. Right. So this was all about this session. I hope you might have got some of the important insight in this one. If you like this video, you can share that one. If you have any doubt, you can comment that into the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Current Affairs by Forum IAS is an all-in-one program that covers the dynamic aspect of the syllabus from both prelims and mains perspectives. Last year, we have helped more than 100 students crack IAS with our Current Affairs classes.